Inside these walls at 15 foot intervals, there's a series of 73 sprinkler heads um, that's all hooked up to a manifold. What we do basically is after we've done that, once it gets cold enough, we turn that water on. We've set up uh, what we call icicle farms, which are basically like chain link racks that we spray water on to grow icicles. We harvest the icicles and then we place them around the sprinklers. Once we turn the sprinklers on, the water starts freezing to those icicles. Um, the water eventually freezes and starts making them grow together. They get bigger and bigger and thicker and thicker. Once they're thick enough, we place another layer of icicles on top of that and another layer on top of that and basically grow the, uh, the castle uh, about two to three feet at a time. When it's nice and bright outside, you get this really great uh, glacier blue, which is really cool because you don't really see this color of ice you know, anywhere except for yeah, naturally formed glaciers or when something artificial like this is, is put up. When the movie Frozen came out, that was a huge, a huge boost because now everyone's like, oh, we get to see like an actual ice castle. I can't tell you how many proposals I've seen so far in the castle. I've seen some really interesting uh, approaches to it, but it's cool to be, you know, a part of somebody's life like that. So we've been going ever since the first year and then last year was like his deadline. <laughs> so he took me to the ice castles again and proposed because that was our special place. We have a guy on our staff who programs, basically creates a light program that sends signals to each light individually to uh, create kind of a um, passive light show as the, uh, as the night goes on. It's sort of set to the music. Um, we try not to make it too intense because it does get pretty weird in here when you have like strobing lights and all that, but we do like to have kind of a little bit of a flow of color and all that. Gives uh, the castle a little extra personality. What do you think, Doogie? It's quite magical, isn't it? It's good, right? Yeah, we've been wanting to come for a few years now, but we only feel like this year is the first year he's been old enough to, to properly enjoy it, so. <laughs> it is massively popular. Uh, I think more than our, our founders would have ever imagined it to be. Um, yeah, we're pretty much sold out every Friday and Saturday night. It's interesting, I never would have thought that when I first started that we'd have so many, you know, yeah, young couples in addition to like the families with small kids coming in. But yeah, it is a really popular date night spot. 